Hey guys, it's Sean here from Audio Biz, AKA Redbeard. And on today's Redbeard review, we're gonna be unboxing one of Blizzard's newest fixture from the 2019 LDI show, the Stiletto Ray Z. If you're interested in audio, video, and lighting equipment, consider subscribing to us. Shout out to our sponsor, Krusty Roadie Ale. Today's flavor is the extra bitter ale, as bittersweet as watching your daughter grow up without a father. Wow. Now, with that out of the way, on to this unboxing. So here, we have, whoa, the Stiletto Ray Z. Let's get this bad boy open. Always gotta whip out the trusty Leatherman. Never leave home without it. First off, we get our manual. Probably won't need that. Who reads the manuals anyway? Uh, looks like we got a, uh, PowerCon cable here uh, with uh, an extra gray PowerCon jumper so you can make uh, a jumper out of your cable. Uh, three foot uh, DMX cable, five pin. Safety cable, make sure you're safe. Practice safe rigging as they say. And then our Omega clamps for mounting the fixture. So let's get this box open here. We're not gonna need that. Watch out for the crusty roadie. Oh, rat for your protection. Ah, the smell of new fixture here. All right, so we've got the Stiletto Ray Z. It's one of uh, Blizzard's newest fixtures. It's gonna be a zoomable wash fixture. So it's got a zoomable uh, head here. It's got seven 40 watt Osram RGBW LEDs in there. So super bright which is re really cool. Take a look at the back of the fixture here. Notice we've got a five pin XLR in and out. Uh, we also do have two ethernet jacks on here. So this is for supporting uh, a couple different things of artnet, streaming ACN, the ethernet protocol. Uh, and then we've got a power con in and out and we've got our switch here. You know, on the front of the unit, LCD display here. It's a full color display, which is pretty cool. All of our navigation buttons here and then uh, update uh, port uh, via mini USB, or actually micro USB, I guess I should say. If we look at the bottom here, I'm gonna flip this bad boy up so we can see. Uh, on the bottom here, we've got our uh, quarter turn mounts for our Omega clamps. So this actually allows you to mount your clamps on there, uh, quarter turn, get those twisted in, and you'll be able to mount this fixture to your truss. It's got some nice heavy duty handles for being able to clip this on which is pretty cool. Uh, and then there's also a uh, safety tether uh, point here. So again, remember, always use your safety cables, make sure you practice safe rigging. Don't want any fixtures coming down on somebody's head because they didn't tighten the clamp or something like that. Pretty slick little fixture. Let's grab this uh, manual here. Let's uh, get some of the, the details here. Uh, so like I mentioned before, it's got a zoomable uh, range. So it goes all the way down from 4.5 degrees all the way up to 36 degrees. So this is really useful. It gives you the ability to do some pinpoint accuracy with a smaller beam angle up to a 36 degree, which is a super big wash. I'm thinking about getting some of these for my rig. Currently right now I'm using some of the hot boxes, which have like a 26 degree beam. Uh, so when you're setting them up because it's a traditional par, you're gonna have to do a, uh, you know, focus them uh, manually. And that's one of the advantages of these moving head fixtures is that I can put them up, I can focus remotely from my console, I can choose what type of beam I'm using or if I wanna go to a full wash. Also gives me a lot of flexibility during the show because you've got that uh, movement capability. Again, we mentioned uh, RGBW, uh, so red, green, blue, and white uh, LED uh, capable. Um, they are 40 watts, so super bright. Uh, we talked about that. Um, you do have individual pixel control on here. So um, there's a couple different menu options. So you've got some ability to do some like eye candy and things like that which is pretty cool. 540 degree pan with a 200 degree tilt. Um, and it does use three phase motors, so it makes it super fast. And this makes it really awesome for quick transitions. And we'll, we'll get this unit plugged in and kind of show you how quick it is. And there are three different channel modes. So there's a, a 15 channel basic mode, an 18 channel standard mode, um, and then uh, a 38 channel uh, extended mode. So that extended mode is gonna give you that pixel control that we were talking about. So I've got individual control over each of those cells, which is pretty awesome. Awesome. Let's get this bad boy plugged in and, and see what she can do. 
We'll use our power con here and we'll put this in, power this guy up, flip it on here. It's a super quiet fixture, which is awesome. Um, you'll notice when it turns on, really quiet. Um, there's not a whole lot of noise going on, which is really nice. So what I'm gonna do is put this in a um, Vegas mode, shall we say. Flash in here. And of course I get shot in the face with all these lights, but you can see it's super quick movement. Um, in the test mode here, it's gonna go to an up and you can, you'll be able to see the uh, zoom speed uh, on there, which is really awesome. So it's really quick. You can also see some of those pixel control or pixel effects going on there. So it's really pretty quiet uh, overall, I would have to say. But yeah, it's a pretty stout little fixture coming in just under 20 pounds. I think it'll be a great addition to a lot of people's rigs, you know, using it as a front wash, back wash, you know, it's a very versatile fixture. Um, again, with those zoom angles here. So um, I'm gonna quick snap my fingers and we're gonna go to some video footage of showing how cool this fixture is. Now that we're back, there was a little snippet uh, from the Blizzard booth at LDI. Pretty cool to see them in action. Kind of some of the other bullet points. Two year warranty. Everything's covered and uh, all repairs are done um, at Blizzard in Waukesha, Wisconsin. Makes it super convenient if anything does happen to your fixture. For more info on this fixture or to schedule a demo, hit us up at audiobiz.com. You can also email me at any time with any audio, video, or lighting questions that you may have at redbeard at audiobiz.com. Also, don't forget, Krusty Roadie is our sponsor today, Extra Bitter Ale. We will see you on the next video.